The East Wall project is a project that um, we formed together with the East London Dance. We are working with young uh, choreographers. This year uh, we are doing a warm-up act, which is a performance on a rooftop. And the idea is to keep in touch with them until 2018, where this project will culminate in a big performance spectacle that we are going to do in the Tower of London. I was born in Cameroon and then come here until the late 90s. Yeah, East London is it, my hometown. And I got into like dance probably at the age of like 15, 16 when I started taking dance a lot more serious and decided, hey, I'll do it for my eight hours. Uh oh, I'm getting good at it. Let me see. And I did it for my university and went to a conservatoire. I joined East London Dance. So that kind of got me like stimulated to want to dance more and actually make my own work. East for Warm Up, it was fun. We got to use our own dancers. We got to work with a company like on a two week basis. I was able to have a composer make original music for me. So it, it, it was really nice. We just got given the freedom to explore what we want with the guidance of Hawfish. East for Warm Up had a, a massive impact on my choreographic practice. We were just absolutely covered head to toe in soil, had it everywhere in places that you wouldn't expect to find. It was hard work and exhausting, but I, I just felt so proud. I have started preparation to actually develop the piece that uh, I made as a scratch performance there. Hopefully it's going to be uh, finished in 2018 and maybe a future tour of the work. In 2017 I spent the majority of the year working at the National Theatre on a show called Angels in America. I was one of the puppetry and movement artists. Really excited now to see what's going to happen. <laughs> I like that dance can be kind of like a movie that you have this one hour and a half or however long of being kind of absorbed or inside another atmosphere, world, setting. So I started uh, dancing as a teenager, 15, 16 years old. At my school we had to do, we had to dance, we didn't have a choice. I was playing football and rugby and all that stuff. And then I started dancing a bit and just realised I liked it more. I knew that I always wanted to make work. East Wall uh, kind of represents one of the first big gigs I feel that like I've got as a maker. Yeah, this concept of working with professionals and a huge community cast and with the live music in such a ridiculously great space. Hopefully we'll get a nice, good range of people coming in to hopefully want to work with us. My work um, kind of it stems around hip-hop theatre, specialising in crump as a main use of language. The creative process from here gets a bit intricate. Um, we're working with some school groups that we've been teaching for the past five, six months. At the moment, I'm working on a piece that I created in 2015 with my company, Bartness Personified. Yeah, so I'm giving it to the Moby students so we can kind of make it their own, give them like a, a fresh take on it. The piece was called Rebel to Conform. So today's the day we're going to be looking for the professional cast. In a dancer, I look for someone to be true and authentic. I um, also look for someone with a lot of versatility, a lot of power behind their performance and behind their movements. I don't like seeing dancers that just kind of fit the, the same old, same old mold. I like people who can use different influences to create something different and become a different artist.